the Thompson Range moving the cattle on to a new pasture or a new paddock. We got a little baby coming in and it's going back. Come on, guys. Let's move on over. So you saw the second newest one? Yeah. See a little squirt there she is. Bringing up the rear. It's one of the newest cats. Babies are around the water. What about you? You little heifer? How you doing, you heifer calf? You look good. Today we have Freddie Connor in here with us. He went along with us on the cattle move. Hey, Freddie. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, Freddie, what do you have going on? He has a farm um, over near our house. Over where, Freddie? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Got 40 acres over on uh, King Store Road to check. And what are you running there? Uh, mostly uh, Angus, some Angus cows. With uh, I have several uh, few purebred full blood South Pole, covering the others with a South Pole bull. Nice. That's nice. How long you been farming for? Well, I been I got back into it about three years ago. I've had cattle all since I was big enough to feed them on a bottle. Nice. But, uh, but back into it about three years. Very good. So if anybody wants to contact you, how can they contact you? Do you have a website or an email? I got an email. It's uh, connor at swva.net. Okay. Uh, uh, Facebook page is just under Freddie Connor. Okay. Uh, I call the beef company Four Seas Beef. I think it's, I think on YouTube, that's what it comes up for, sees beef, but I ain't never put out no videos or nothing. Okay. I'm not skilled like you. <laughs> <laughs> so you sell uh, breeding stock? Not right now. Uh, 
my plan is to uh, from cradle to table, you know, in the future, it's just a slow go building back up. Things is a whole lot more expensive. This go around as it was when I got out of it, things is about three times as high. So mm -hmm. it's a long road back, slow baby steps. So selling grass fed beef eventually. Yeah, I've okay. sold some, but not, not a whole lot right now. I gotcha. Well, that sounds good. We just wanted to show you Freddie as he came along with us on this cattle move. As you can see, the cattle are happy and grazing. We'll put Freddie's contact information in the description below. If you want to get in contact with Freddie. Now, Daniel, tell us where we went today. Tell all the YouTubers here where we went today. The Catawba Sustainability Center. All right. For a workshop with Greg Judy. All right, and Greg Judy did a video with us. You'll have to check that out on Greg Judy, Judy's channel. But yeah, the Catawba Sustainability Center is really neat. It's um, through Virginia Tech, right? Yeah. And um, they actually do regenerative grazing and agriculture there. Like they move their cattle around and let the grass grow up taller and try to build their soil and rotate the cattle with the poly wire and step in posts and um, You'll have to check them out. We'll put them in the, the description below, too. The manager there, Adam Taylor, he's really nice and does a good job with the cattle down there. So, I'll have to check them out. That was a good workshop to go to. We enjoyed that. And then we had a pasture walk. Hello. What you doing? Bulls. There's another bull. Hey, little buddy. Y'all having a good day? Energy then must great. <laughs> then we have Bentley and Charlie Smith back here with us. Um, tell us what y'all like the best about the um, workshop today with Greg Judy. Mm -hmm. Everything was pretty good. Yeah. I liked everything, I guess. Yeah. Did you learn anything new? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.